वेलकम टू वी लर्न वर्चुअल लर्निंग नेटवर्क दिस इज सेशन नंबर फाइव एस्टैब्लिशिंग एक्सटर्नल इक्विटी टॉपिक्स विच वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस सेशन आर इंट्रोडक्शन मीनिंग ऑफ एक्सटर्नल इक्विटी डेवलपिंग पे स्ट्रक्चर एसेसिंग द ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच टू पे वेज एंड सैलरी सर्वेज पे ग्रेड एंड रेंजेस Now coming towards the introduction let us know first what external equity is external equity exists when an organization pays a wage rate matching with the wages existing in the external labor market measuring external equity requires measuring these labor markets however there is no single labor market for a specific job however Moreover supply and demand vary considerably in market resulting in variation in wages across labor markets The following are the factors that contribute to these wage differences in market geographic location industry sector union status organization size product competition company prestige education and experience level of available employee licensing or certification requirement called for by the job now let us analyze the meaning of external equity the process of pricing job involves finding out the compensation provided by other organization for similar jobs when the pay structure of one organization is same as the pay structure of the another organization that is if they are competing for the same talent then the program is said to be competitive or externally equitable when we consider ourselves with external equity we shift our focus from the managerial value system to an economic one in fact some small companies avoid wastage of time and expenditure of job evaluation and visit the marketplace to find the wage information they need in order to set a pay this approach is known as market pricing approach transferability of skill is an important issue encountered by employers in determining external equity If an employee's skill are valued more in a difficult different types of job or in a different organization then they may believe that they are being treated inequitably So this diagram represent then that external equity consists of market rate competitors offer industry standard and organizational fairness External equity is achieved through market pricing analysis. Organizations formulate their compensation strategies by measuring the pay package paid by competitor or by measuring the industry standards. This is done for treating employee equally across organization and retaining employees. Developing pay structure. How we can develop the pay structure? Pay structure is the grouping of pay grades or pay brand, bands. They can be more than one pay structure in a compensation plan. For instance, there may be one pay structure for service and maintenance position, one for sales position and one for the managerial position. Or the organization may have just one structure for all the position. The process of developing the pay structure deals with the internal and external analysis to assess the compensation package for the specific job profile. Pay structure helps in analyzing the employee's role, value and status in the organization. It also helps in the assessment of incentives. If the organization is paying very less to employee then it may lose valuable employee if the organization is paying high then it may be unwisely spending company resources 
The main goal of developing a pay structure is to manage and demonstrate an organization compensation philosophy and to reflect and support the advancement of the company's structure. An effective pay structure also helps to attract and retain the efficient employees. The following three factors have to be determined while developing a pay structure. First one is the proper data for establishing the relative value of particular job to the organization. Second is the proper pay range for a job with a defined value to the organization. And the third one is the value of each job position within the specified pay range. Factors to be considered while designing pay structure are number of years of experience, number of reporting staff member, performance valuation result, hazardous working condition, undesirable shifts, education and degrees, professional certifications, management opinions. In structuring this basic pay program, several options are available. Organizations can use a single rate structure in which the employee performing similar jobs will receive the same pay rate. Organization can use a tenure based approach which focus on from how long an employee has been employed in a particular job. Organization can also use a combination of a tenure based plan and a merit based plan. Organization can use a pay system based on productivity. An increasingly popular option is some form of base pay with an incentive opportunity either based on individual team unit or company performance. Assessing the traditional approach to pay. The basic nature of work is changing. Globalization, competitive pressure, the irregular business environment, the shift from a manufacturing to a service economy and the drive towards quality have affected the way work is structured, performed and managed. Main issues which are faced today are employee empowerment, team-based processes and a coaching style of supervision. Jobs are more fluid and more clearly defined. But traditional job evaluation was built on different work philosophy. Most of the traditional job evaluation method place a great value on knowledge and the value of area supervised. Traditional job valuation plans explicitly consider customer service challenges. It also plays a lot of importance on responsibility for achieving total quality.